Where's the game? Oh! Whoa! Crystal Dynamics! Oh man, after playing that uh, crash and burn game, I don't know. The graphics, guys. At least we know this will be better than EVP, at the very least. How's the volume, guys? Is it too loud? Uh, I know you did not miss Road Rash. We're playing that after this. Commander, we've got bogey from Alpha Sector. We got Coming bogeys, in. guys. Fast. Star Base Bravo to vessels bearing 150 Mark 2 Niner. You've entered restricted space. Withdraw immediately. Commander, we're detecting an energy surge. They're charging weapons. That's me, guys. Ensign. Notify the Stellar Command that we're under attack and get Gamma Squadron off the deck. Damn, look at their headsets. Crazy. Scrambling Gamma Squadron. Intercept in two minutes. We're hit! Shields are down! Commander, receiving a low-frequency comm signal. Switching to view screen now. Oh my god. <gasps> All your bases belong to us. I am Lord Zodak. Supreme predator of the Draxtai Dominion. Your species has been selected for the hunt. Yeah, this is 3D L94. You should regard it as an honor to feed us. We hunt only the quickest and the smartest. What you are about to witness is what we call Juke Pulon. Oh no! Which in your language means sun dagger. I am can you find it illuminating. Prepare for emergency evacuation. Yeah, make sure you All send me a, a friend advice, Black, so we can play. Total Eclipse. Alright, so this is made by Crystal Dynamics. Uh, that's uh, Soul Reaver, Tomb Raider, that kind of jazz. And there's a sequel for this game that came out on the Sega Saturn in 95. Called something else. Some other Eclipse game or whatever. So this is another one of the top games on the 3DO that we have to endure. Like I said, we play Crash, Crash and Burn. And, uh... We played, uh, there's some, there's some good games on the 3DO. Like, now that I look at the Jaguar, <laughs> there's some good games. And the controller is better on the 3DO, too. The Jaguar is just, like, Jaguar might be the all-time worst console for me so far, guys. It's so doo-doo, baby. It's unreal. It's so doo-doo, baby. I can't believe it, so. We gotta hammer through the rest of these 3DO games to get it done. I'm doing, yeah, I'm doing Road Rash on 3DO after this. We're playing this first, though. Okay, sound effects on controls. Okay, accelerate, fire, break, roll left, roll right. Special weapon is select. Got it. Okay. Apparently, there's a cheat code for 99 lives in this. And since I don't have sands of time, we might do that. Okay, let's try this out. Let's see what this means. easy, Lieutenant. I'm not gonna blow propaganda smoke in your face. The truth is that the war is going badly for us. Earth is being bombarded by Draxai missiles, and we're being forced to retreat in every sector. Our scouts have tracked the missile path back to a planet in Omega Nebula. Your first mission will be to destroy those missile silos. Okay. Take a good look at your mission objective and move out. Got it. Okay, so. My computer, well, my computer didn't crash. My video card crashed with the emulator. Crashed the stream, so let's try this again. Oh my god, I'm skipping that first cutscene, though. Okay, good, it works. Whoa! How do I shoot? Wait, this music kind of, does kind of feel out of place. Star Fox? Oh, no. Oh, by the way, guys, there's a huge hailstorm going outside right now, so... <laughs> if this em if this emulator doesn't crash, 
then uh, my power might go out, so this is going to be a wild night tonight. This is what happened yesterday with the app. Whoa! Whoa, we can go all the way upside down? That's cool. Can I do a barrel roll? Whoa, why do I like shoot out 50,000 projectiles? Is that base plus it's true? Wait, why did I get downgraded? Wait, what? Oh shit, it's like Star Wars. Okay, brakes, brakes are good. So you guys said the volume is good, right? Oh yeah, yeah, I'm using the original console, but it's, it's finicky. <laughs> Thanks for reminding me, Crossbow. Uh oh, what am I supposed to do? Whoa! I don't know why those things speed me up, but here we are. Was that the level? Please don't crash my computer. Okay, good. Whoa, what, what's with the FOB, man? Jesus. So this game got a 6.5 out of 10 rate on EGM because the controls were too slippery, they said. Oh. Man, when you crash, it doesn't like do anything. I just like go right through walls and my health just goes down. There's no like impact. Okay, stop spraying the slander on, on the switch. Come on. So we we're supposed to destroy a missile silo. I see the map in the top middle. This game needs this. Oh! I literally died. There's like no sense of impact. Anyways, uh, yeah, this game is a barrel roll, like bad. I just can't believe how well he put these ships. Look, there's a tower. The scope of the game is pretty big, though. Like these areas are pretty huge. I mean, there's been a lot of games that are uh, playing games like this at this point by '94. But in and with this caliber of graphics, like this is pretty big deal. But I mean, we say that a lot. Whenever we play these like 3DO or Jaguar games, we always say the same thing: like, "Oh, the graphics look good, the games are ass, or whatever." Right? But I don't think 3DO, the 3DO console, was that bad. After playing the Jaguar, it's it's actually alright. Right, there's a missile silos. Am I supposed to destroy him? Guess we'll get a switch when we get to 2017. Well, it depends. Nintendo needs to make a more powerful switch. A way more powerful switch. We might have to accelerate here. Uh, there's a break, and then there's an acceleration. The only three there is like really tough. Doesn't look like it, but I'm running into the walls a lot. You guys can see my health is going down. I'm speeding up just a bit here because I'm gonna die. I don't know what gave me health there. I got some health back. I wonder if we're going in a circle. So select is my super weapon. What's that? Oh wow, it's like an entire nuke. It's on the top left, I see it.
I heard you're dropping Street Fighter V. Where did you hear that from? Tell me where you heard that from first, before I can continue this conversation. Okay, I haven't destroyed any missiles so, silos yet, so what's going on? I go talks a lot of shit. What did I get? All these power ups, I don't even know what they do. Stage looks like it's looping by this point. I destroyed that pyramid thing. That should look like from Star Wars. I saw the channel update. So you're saying I said that I'm quitting Street Fighter 5? Are you sure that's a reliable source? But uh, no, I'm not I'm not quitting Street Fighter 5. I'm just taking a break from it. We'll be playing again when Lou comes out, and then uh, we'll play for a couple days, and then yeah, and we'll take a break again. <laughs> and then the balance patch update will come out, play it for a few days, and we'll take a break again. But right now, I can't find any matches, so even if I wanted to play it, quote unquote, how could I? Hey, why not? At least I know what that does. If I can't find any matches, how can I create content? Or how can I enjoy it? And also, how, why would I want to like waste my time in training mode, like getting better when there's no one to play? Oops. Yeah, I, gotta, I do that a little too often. Laser balls everywhere. My ship seems pretty powerful. Like, everything looks like everything's made out of paper mache. What happens if I pause it? Do I see a map? Nope. Oh wow, look how many of these... I'm so powerful now. Looks like I'm playing a shooting mode. And me taking a break from Street of Fire 5 was like the best decision I ever made. Now we're getting through this 94 list nice and fast now. Been in on it since February. And plus, we're still watching the Street Fighter tournaments. So. We just watched the Japan tournament. That's pretty good. Okay, this is looping, guys. This is looping. So I think it wants us to find these missile silos. We have to look for them. It's a search and destroy mission. Am I gonna play Smash Bros. when we get the 64? Maybe. Maybe. More mod! Thanks to the 39, bro. Okay. So we always went left. Okay. I'm gonna stick to the right for a second and then we'll check the left. I know we saw those missiles once. Like I said, we had to get all the looking map in the top here. Those guys completely blended into the background. Do you guys think this music suits the game? The music's too hype? Feels out of place? Maybe if you're like a 13 year old kid, it would be pretty hype. Okay, let's go start- wait, I see a green dot here. Is that it? S. Oops, I hit fuck, I hit speed up rather than brakes. Okay, there's another green dot here. What's this? What is that? Okay. 
Flack, did you have a 3DO? Why does it say round four? Like, I don't understand. I, I know it was extremely expensive, so very few people had it. Unless you bought it after it died. But if you got it right when it came out, then you were a baller. I wouldn't go as far as to say that 3 video was underrated. But I think this console was okay. I, I really feel like they just got super unlucky with uh, with PlayStation. Like PlayStation really fucked them over, basically. And 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 the business strategy of of uh, licensing the console out to like Panasonic and not making their own like first party games that that screwed them over too. Like I said, there's some games to play on this console. I just cannot... Cannot overstate enough how bad the Jaguar was. Such a trash console. I don't think we have any more games to play on the Jaguar. So that's how bad that console was. The best game was AVP. That was the best thing the console had to play. But 3DO, we still have a couple left. I don't know if we're actually like progressing through the levels, guys. This is different, but oh, we're going through this thing. Got yet another power up. What do I deal with this? Shit. It's not the enemies that kill you, it's definitely uh, the walls and shit. Damn it, dude. I guess that's what they meant, like, when they said that the controls were a little oversensitive. I think, like, one problem with this game already is the... Is just the feeling of impact, like, when crashing into the walls and grabbing items in that. I just don't get that sense of, like, me grabbing the items and stuff. Speed up here, just really dive. Yeah, that was top. I almost died there. I still might die, actually. I don't know what's filling our health back up. I think killing the enemies refills our health. I'm not sure. Who this guy is, but he looks mean. I'm getting hurt though, he's hurting me. Does this hurt it? That's my super weapon. Got some health back. Oh, I got them. So, what about those missile silos? Is there a story to this game? Yeah, yeah, there is a story. Uh oh, please don't crash. Well done. You've earned the rank of captain. 
<laughs> Capitano. Earth has a chance now that you've destroyed those missiles. Unfortunately, they weren't our only worry. Our colonies are being wiped out by Draxi cyborgs. I need a pilot with your skill to pay a visit to their cyborg laboratory in the Centauri Nebula and nullify. Good luck, Captain. Good luck. Ryan out. Yeah, I press start because I'm scared. I'm scared when that cutscene ends, it's gonna crash crash my video card. Okay, so the missile silos were irrelevant? Like I'm so confused. Now we gotta destroy those bases, right? Yeah, it looks like killing enemies is what's refilling my health. It's the same level with different colors. Yeah, but also, Raven, the same graphics. Whoa! It never ends. Guys, this is like this is like RE engine, but back in '94. That's right, boys. Just imagine yourself as like, you know, a 13 year old kid with your power glove and you're wearing 3D glasses for no apparent reason. All your chump friends are just playing Mario. Or Star Fox. But no, you, you're destined for something greater. What the hell is power of the So, it looks like all these levels are the same, hey? <laughs> the entire process seems the same. Uh-oh. Oh my god. We have to go way fast. wants to go way faster. I'm to hit the nitro. Wait, what's with the music? Is that jazz? It's playing jazz music? What the fuck is going on? Do you know? <laughs> this is smooth jazz rock. <laughs> what the hell? Well, this totally proves that smooth jazz rock literally goes with anything. It's suited for every single situation. Yeah, this is what the music we'll be listening to tomorrow, guys, when we're playing Diablo. While we're leveling up. Where am I going? Oh, I'm lit. Where am I? I guess these bases just give you extra. Wait, why did I die? Why did I die? Was that getting shot at? Okay, once we get down to like one life, we'll try that 99 lives code and see what happens. Yeah, the, that main building didn't respawn. Assuming this is the same spot where I died. Yeah, it is. Yeah, you gotta be careful going at, at those things head on because they shoot back. 
this fucking music for? Uh, old school D and B is pretty good. I'm not a huge fan of jungle, but I can. It's not annoying to me. Where am I going? I'm more of like a classic, like France kind of guy. Oh my god. Ah. No, don't make me speed up, please. Dude, that guy is going ham on the sacks. Oh, this game is trolling me. No! I'm just literally tapping uh, down and up. Like, this is me tapping down and up. Like it is really, actually, overly sensitive. Yeah, this game needs uh, one of those, uh, you know, flight joysticks. Did it just boost me into that damn wall? Speed up. I like that there's like environments where you have to speed up and slow down. Oh, that's cool. Fuck, I died in the literally exact same spot. to like kill you right there by speeding you up. Ouch. Yo Amir, did you hear the latest news on the Apex? Today was the big patch day where after everyone waited for a week for the servers to finally be playable. Like people haven't been playing ranked for like over a week. Because all the bugs have finally caught up on respawn. Oh well, I finally didn't die. Oh my god I'm literally one shot. And then after finally a week, uh, the patch came out and the servers literally exploded. And it's even worse now. And everyone's saying, go back. And people are falling through the floor. I know that sounds crazy, but I have to repeat that one more time. People are falling through the floor. Like the, phys the physics are fucked. I think they tried messing around with the tap straight thing. You watched the Snyder Cut, it was very long. Yeah, I still haven't watched it yet. I just I don't really like watching cape shit. Did you enjoy it though? It's pretty decent. Is it better than the original version? Is it better than the original though? Like, would you recommend me watching it? Oh, you didn't watch the original? Oh, okay. Someone needs to comment on it. We've watched the original. I watched the original. The Snyder Cut is better than the original, but that's not saying much. Okay. And I pretty much know how it's going to go then. That's one hand on the sacks again. Okay, let's try, let's try and put, put in that lives pulled right now, because we only have two lives left. Okay, 99 lives. Pause the game and enter the options screen. Highlight resume game. It's probably play game. And enter the following. Okay. B, A, C, A, B, A. Left shift. Left shift and right shift at the same time. Uh, wait, what's X? What's X? Weird that you're looking at picture when you have the original hardware with you. Look, man, I'm just making sure I have the right controller, okay? 
No! Well, last life. And we're gonna have to start over. Wish I knew what the X button was. I know there's a stop and play button. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. Like, that's the start and select button. And there's a left shift and right shift, so what the hell is X? Could someone look up, look up Total Eclipse uh, cheats and see if somebody else written in English? Wrote in English, I mean. I really don't want to start over. This music, though. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'll go with life. It's on the underside of the console. I can't tell if you're joking or not, Sly. Welcome to 3DO Gaming. Are you are you being serious? Then I have to bind it then. I can't tell you're being serious because it's, it's, what you say is so ridiculous. <laughs> There's a button on the console? What would that possibly be used for? Cheat codes? Damn, there's a stage select too, but it also requires the Xbox. Sega Master System? One was on the console itself, really? Okay, hold on. Press pause. A large skull will appear. Then press A A B B C C. Okay, let's try that. Okay. Then press start. Did I do it? Oh, I did it! I have 99 lives. That was like the most complicated code I've ever seen. Well, no, that's not true. Thanks, guys. Thanks for the help, guys. But the most complicated code by far is the... You guys remember that Star Wars game for the N64? Where it's like third person? I never played it. But I know about the notorious like cheat code. It's like absolutely insane. But can we select the next stage and keep the lives? Okay, we're, you're, we're playing a dangerous game here, Bunky, but let's try. Let's go like 11 and see where it takes us. Yeah, Shadows of the, Shadow of the Empire. What did it say? I missed what the screen said. No, we lost all our lives. Yeah, we lost all our lives, boys. Let's go 19, just to see. Whoa! Wait, is it the same stage? Oh, that was a bad idea. I don't know what the mission objective is. I'll probably combine my retro episode with uh, this one and Crash and Burn, since both those games we didn't complete. No, not speed up. 
You press the wrong button. Wow, those guys did so much damage to me. Every stages are a little bit different, guys. They're not completely the same. I'm sure we're eventually going to lead into a thing where we go down a tunnel. No! Man, yeah, the controls are really overly sensitive. Like, I just tap on right and my guy just goes, like, full throttle. Jesus. Okay, two lives left. The stages are tough. Even with 99 lives, I don't even know if we're going to get 99 lives. Jasmine's just going crazy too. Oh my god, I did so much damage. You know what they should have had in this game to improve it? They should have had like more audio when uh, uh, when you're actually like playing. Like they should have the commander talking to you as you're playing. Like, you know, like Star Fox. Star Fox or Super Nintendo, they, like they didn't even like were speaking English, but they had text on the screen. You know, just add more flavor to it. You know. Oh, it's hot. Everything does so much damage to me. I don't want to go down to that path because I don't usually die. I want to survive at this point now. Oh. Oh. oh my god, did you see how fast I veered to the left by tapping left? Give me some checkpoints, bro. Yeah, don't fight these guys head on, that's how I get my ass kicked. Oh my god, dude. I'm lit. No bombs either. Please don't kill me. What the? Another thing with this game that's whack is that the camera is not in front of the ship, so when I turn left sharp there, I actually hit the wall. But the camera doesn't show me the wall anymore. Okay, good. This weapon looks good. Oh, I'm fucking lit. Come on! Shoot her! Oh. Yes, this weapon looks powerful. No, I turn see I turned left too early again. This oh fuck man. 
I basically have to hug, hug the wall in front of me just so I don't hit it off camera. Checkpoint, please. On my knees. I'm getting the, the super move, but it's not letting me do... Oh, because it's not binded anymore. That's why. Fudge! Hold on a second. That's why it's not working. No. No, where was that power-up? Oh, here it is. Okay, good. Okay, good. Now I have my super missile. God, editing this footage is gonna be a nightmare for YouTube. Why am I not gaining health? Kill me. Fudge! Dude! Oh my god. Level guys, it's too crazy. I have to use my bomb at that spot too. God, this is your last continue. It says, and then it says F you. Just like any other shoot 'em up, my weapon needs to be like completely maxed out or something. Good luck. Like my health just disappears, it just melts, bro. Like, it's at the point of the game now where it's all about strategically using your bombs the right spot. Okay. Okay. the fucking wall. Use bomb to survive. Shit on the screen. What? I instantly died! It better give me a fucking check. Oh my god, dude. I don't know what to do if I instantly die. I don't even know if I hit the fucking wall or what happened. Fucking health just drains. I don't know if I'm hitting a fucking wall or what. There's no sense of impact.
No! Did you see that? I was almost dead. I don't even know why. Yeah, I'm out of bombs. Thank God, a bomb. Okay, this is the first we've made it. Serenity now. What? Okay, fuck this. This is why I hate shmups. Oops. What's this? Changed it. Rage quit RK. We're not quitting. We're going to the last level. Weapon upgrades. Like you, you, there's no impact when you get shot, no impact when you run into walls. Your health just disappears, and you're not even ready for it because you don't know if you're getting hit or not. Like what? The, like what the hell? These guys should take lessons from uh, Star Tropics too. When you're low on health, it's like a fire alarm's going off. It's like, you, you never want to be low health ever again, you're so traumatized by the noises. Wait, what?! I went the wrong way, so the game is like, screw you, you're dead. Well, you obviously can't go slow. That's for damn sure. Oh wait, I'm not supposed to go this way. Fuck! Headbutt that guy. All right. So it's a literally a, a trial and error guessing game on where you're supposed to go. Holy fuck. It's literally a maze. Okay, left and then right. Fucking cheeks, bro. 
not even taking the chance here. Shit's cancer. Okay, we do the right side. It means like a few. Okay, left or right? On right. Left, right, right. What the fuck killed me, man? Did I get a checkpoint? This game needs checkpoints, man, so badly. Oh yeah, the minimap. Dude, I didn't even look at the minimap. You're right. You're fucking right, bro. Kinda hard, though. <laughs> Kinda hard. That is the last level, I guess, but fuck. Shit triggers me. The problem is, like, it's hard to, like, kind of constantly be dodging because since everything's so, like, sensitive... Like, like look, man, I can't just... Your character is just is too cracked. Oh my god, I tried to kill someone to get some fucking health, dude. Oh god, I'm gonna flush this shit. Dude, every bomb needs to be saved. It needs to be used. What the hell? It's like the shots aren't registering. I'm like standing in front of it. It's not even hitting it, guys. I need that, uh... That yellow shot power-up. Shit's cracked. Fuck, did I miss it? So I'm gonna try to avoid those pyramids instead of trying to shoot it. Shit just gets you killed. Alright guys, prepare to swerve. Fucking sick! Yeah, I have to slow down there then. The problem is I'm like getting better with the controls, which is gonna be make me worse at every other fucking game I play. Making me a worse gamer.
I don't think I can hold four. Oh, I'm dead. Oh! Oh, I'm dead. I totally lost track of where I was, and then I couldn't bounce back from it. Oh, nice new weapon. Can slow it down his head. Slow it down. Speed it up a bit. Okay. Power ups, tons. I can't see. Oh, is that the last boss? No checkpoint, right? I felt like I was like full out dodging, but I couldn't. He was shooting so fast that I couldn't even dodge it. How you can't tell him you're getting hit. Guys, is there like a shield button or something? I'm just in disbelief that this is the game. Like what's this infinity thing? Like it must be my my shot, but I just feel like there's something, there's got to be more, you know? There's no way this can be it. There's no way.
have to use the bomb there. Like, you can't take the chance. I had to use my bomb and I had to. I'll probably use it here too. Oh, uh, we might not even make it to the boss. I'm out of bombs now. I was looking for that power up. I, it's, I see it on the map, but I don't know where the fuck it was. Grab this exploding one. Like, I'm not even focusing on hitting him, I'm just focusing on trying to dodge these shots. <laughs> Fuck this game. Alright, let's play Road Rash now.